to my channel so today is going to be a very special and out of the blue out of my comfort zone and I am so 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 excited about this I'm also very worried about this so this video it's all going to be about the NYX or NYX cosmetic face award of 2019 oh my gosh I I can't even believe that I am even gonna do this video I really want to be a part of this community I really want to step up you know I decided to really step out of my comfort zone and show you guys what I can do and just inspire others you know I've always loved makeup since I was in middle school or maybe when I was little I put lip gloss on or something you know I love makeup makeup is where I want to be where I want to play where I want to create where I think I can take a next level to so Without further ado, I am going to participate in the 2019 Face Award from NYX Cosmetics. I'm really, really, really excited to do this. I have a whole lot of NYX Cosmetics right in front of me. I have some crazy stuff that I plan on doing. This will be my ever first time entering this contest. I'm also not going to really talk while doing makeup. I might do a voiceover, depending, but, um... Yeah, this is all going to be about NYX and the face award. So when I submit my video, I'm so excited. <sighs> I just, you know, guys, just pray for me, just, just pray for me, y'all. So if you want to see what I create for the NYX Cosmetics 2019 Face Awards, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Dewey. And let's get started with this video. Oh my god. Alright guys, so now I'm going to start using a voiceover. Right here, I'm going to start using the NYX Cosmetic Can't Stop, Won't Stop Matte Primer to put all over my face right now. So make sure you just get all over your face to cover all those pores. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite headband, the Minnie Mouse. Super cute. Now I'm going to go into my eyebrows. I'm going to use this NYX Really Bright, this cream color. I want to use some hot pink, so I want to do my eyebrows pink for this look. I'm doing a mermaid look, so I'm just going to fill in a limb like I would normally do with my other one. But this time, I'm just doing pink eyebrows. So just take your time. Just go by the bottom and go to the top. There's really no rush to this. Um, but yeah, I just like to deepen it up at the end. And then in the, and then in the front, I like to use this bully. So I can really get it all over the place, really nice and evenly. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I'm going to use this foundation as a concealer just to carve out my brows underneath. And I'm also going to set with this foundation as well. When I carve out my brows, I like to use a flat brush so I can get really into my brows. So I can really define them. I like to curve them on the side a little bit. Try not to rush and just take your time. It really does take time to be able to get a really nice brow. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in the shade Bright, I believe. I'm going to go in with this blue right here and I'm going to put it in my crease. Kind of on my lid too, I want to deepen it up as much as I can because this is really going to be the dark part of my eyes. So yeah, just pack it in, take your time, it's okay. Pack, pack, and pack until your hands are going to fall off. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with this purple shader here and I'm going to put it in my crease where we just put that blue at to deepen up even more. Now I like to do a little circular motions around the side. It might get a little messy, but just keep blending and blending and it will be okay. I like to drag it a little bit to the end as well. Now I'm going to take this hot pink shade right here. I'm going to put it where I just put that purple at. This is going to be really my transition shade. I'm going to blend all the edges so it really looks nice and like a gradient effect. So take your time with this. It's okay. Just keep blending and blending. Now I would like to go back to the purple, then I will go back to the blues as well just to deepen up even more. I don't want the color to go away. I want all those three shades to keep showing. I don't want to lose those up colors, so just keep blending and blending. And then if you feel like it's going away, just pack even more and then blend even more. 
So now I'm going to cut the crease. Now it's not going to be just your regular cut crease. I'm actually going to try to make little clouds look alike. But I was trying to go for like mermaid scales. I didn't like how it went, but I tried as hard as I can. I just like to make little round circles around. It kind of looks like a cloud, but just take your time. Just like I did, it's okay, but just keep taking your time. Now I'm going to go in with this white eyeliner and then after that I'm going to use this light pink eyeliner as well. So with the white eyeliner, I'm going to outline that cloud little mermaid scale what I just did. Take your time with this, I repeat. I know I keep saying it over and over, but I'm telling you guys, you need to take your time little by little. Like this did not take me like five minutes. This took me more than five minutes. But yeah, this is what I did with the white eyeliner. Now I'm going to go back in with that palette and I'm going to use this little brighter blue and I'm going to pack it where I curve out the concealer at. Now it's going to be a really pretty blue. And then I'm going to use this youth glitter. It is white and has some like blue reflects in it, so I really liked it. I'm going to put it where I just put all that blue eyeshadow at, just to give a little prettier look. I like it a lot. Now right here, I wanted to be a little extra, so I decided to put little stars, little dots around. And then I'm going to go back in with that light pink eyeliner as well. And I'm just going to put like little dots around it, just to be a little cute. I just thought, why not, you know, I want to be a gorgeous mermaid, so of course. Alright, so let me do the other eye off camera and now here we are, just like that in two minutes. <laughs> now I'm going to put these gorgeous lashes on. They are in the style Perfect by Yolo De Lashes. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but right here, as you can see, I am putting on my foundation on, just like we used to carve out our brows. This foundation is really, really nice. I've actually never tried it. I really, really like this foundation. Now I'm going to carve out my brows on the top. Just be very, very patient. Don't rush it. And then I'm going to do my forehead as well. Now I'm going to put some white concealer under my eyes. I need the whitest concealer because I am very pale right now. So I'm just going to conceal what I normally would. And then I'm just going to blend all the way. Dab, dab, dab until your hands are going to fall off. <laughs> Now I'm going to take this NYX HD Finishing Powder and I'm going to set this as my setting powder all over the place. I just wanted this one because it was transitioned in a white as well. I actually never used it and it's really, really nice. I really like this. Now I'm going to use this fish net as my mermaid skills. I'm going to put it on my face. Now when I was putting it on my face, I didn't realize that it was going to ruin my lashes so I did have to take them off. But now I'm going to go in with back into that palette and I'm going to use the blue. And I'm going to do all like I would normally do for contouring, like bronzing. Contour and bronzer, I mean. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use that blue, that purple, and that pink that I did on my eyes. And I'm going to use those colors as my contour. I'm going to put it all over my cheeks, all over my forehead, and then on my jawline as well. So this part really takes a lot of time. Just take your time, you know. I don't, I really like this palette, but like I kind of wish it was bigger because I couldn't use big brushes to really get in it. I had to use the small brushes that I use for my eyes. That's the only thing. But overall, just take your time, fill in all those little holes, and then really just, you know, make it blend. Don't just dab it in because then it will look really horrible. But yeah, just use that blue, purple, and that pink that I used on my lid, and I'm putting it all over my face. After you're done, I'm going to take off this net and look at the finish. Oh my god, I was so shook. I just went back in with that blue just to cover all the edges. You know, I didn't want to see any of the white on my skin, but I love this. Now, I'm going to do the blue and the purple and the pink under my eye. I'm not really trying to be like, you know, all pretty and precise. I'm really just putting it under, smugging it out a bit, like a little, little bit of a smoky eye. Now I'm going to use this purple and I'm going to contour my nose. I'm just doing a regular straight line and then the other straight line on the other side. So and then I'm going to use that HD setting powder that I used and I'm just going to blur it out just a little bit just to take away that little bit of darkness. Now I'm going to go in with this white jumbo eye pencil and I'm going to use this to water my underline. 
Now I'm going to pop on some contacts and put my lashes back on. I love them. Now I'm going to take this big palette. It's the NYX Beauty School Dropout. And I'm just going to use this white shade just to, as of a highlight. And then I'm going to also use this bigger highlight. And with the setting spray, and I'm going to put that on my cheeks like I normally would. I'm going to use these stickers that I got from Glitter Lamp. These are so cute and really easy to put on and this was only five dollars guys like i really love how these stickers really stayed on my face and they were just so pretty and they really complemented the look so i really really like these Now I'm going to go in with these two lippies. I'm first going to use this purple shade. It is the color Run the World. And I'm going to use this first to outline my lips first. And then when I'm done outlining my lips, I'm going to go in with that hot pink shade. In the shade Apricotic, I think I'm saying it right. It's a lip luster. It's kind of like a gloss to it. I really like these two combinations together. They're so pretty. And then I like to use a blending brush to tap it all in just to get a really nice effect with it. It is just so pretty. I love this combination. Alright, now it's time to go down to my chest. I'm going to go back in with that same foundation that we used on her face. I'm going to put this all over my chest. I'm going to blend it out. And then I'm going to go in with that same HC finish powder to set it all over my face. I'm sorry, my neck. <laughs> and then I decided to use a fishnet. This actually is a pantyhose and I cut it all up to put it all over me. I don't have a very big fishnet. But I used this fishnet and I cut it and I put it on me. And as you can see, I have to hold it and put it around like this way, that way. But I'm using the same colors, that purple, pink, and that blue that I used from that palette that I used from my eyes and as my contour. I'm now putting that all over my chest. Now, this one took so much time and I mean like 30 minutes, 20 minutes just to get it all over. And as you can see, here it is a little bit more on me. And then I start going back in with the colors just to cover it up even more. I don't want to see too much white, but it came out really, really nice. I like it. Now I'm going back in with the stickers. I didn't know this one was individually, like little and little by little. So I just took I just took some of the stones and I put it in my center. And then I liked how it came out. So as you can see, you can't really see, but I just it was really hard to put on video. But I just took the stickers one by one of which one I wanted. And I made it whatever I wanted to make. I didn't want to put it all over on me. So I decided just to do little by little. Now I went to Walmart and I bought these plastic stickers and I'm just literally putting them all over my chest just to give a little dumb more diamonds. You know, why not? You can never have enough more diamonds. <laughs> now right here, I went into Hobby Lobby and I found these starfish along with the seashells and I'm just putting them on my chest just why not? You know, I am a mermaid and I want to have starfish and seashells on my body and I thought they were so I just used regular eyelash glue, that's all I had, and I put it on my body, and it really stayed. So this was really cheap and affordable. Now it's time for the wig. I'm first putting on that wig cap on my head right now. I didn't really do that much for my hair. Like, I literally just put it back in the bun. This is the wig that I got literally from Amazon. It was $20, so you do get what you pay for, but it works so well with my look. I really like the wig. It came out so pretty and it was just what I needed. I love the bangs. I love how long and curly it was. So it was really gorgeous. Now I got these ears from this website. I just really wanted some ears to go with the look. They're kind of like fish ears. So I had so much trouble putting this on. But I used some tape really and I just put it on there and that was it. Then after that I'm going to go in with this NYX setting play. I put it all over my face and this is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this look so much. I really hope I make it into the NYX Face Award of 2019. This is my first time ever. I hope you guys really enjoy this mermaid goddess, like mystery mermaid, you know what I mean? I really love mermaids, so thanks again. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Until next time, bye guys!